Look, it's a complex issue. Council is fundamentally a department of the state government and it is empowered with service delivery on a whole range of things. They do not preclude or exclude uh, or, or segregate island money for infrastructure for roads as compared to the mainland. The way it works is all roads in a community are largely local roads. They are the responsibility of council. Council is responsible for sealing them, for patching the potholes and, and, and doing all of that with local roads. The state government has the responsibility for main roads and that's why we have that department. The main roads are your bigger arterial roads and some of your major feeder roads such as Colbert Avenue, Cleveland Redland Bay Road and there's a very specific network. If you look in the UBD they are actually colour coded. They are the responsibility for the state government so the state government won't or doesn't provide funding for uh, the Bay Island roads and neither does it for Victoria Point or, or Redland Bay or any other mainland suburb. So it's not a case of you're being segregated. It is specific roads for main road. It's not a main road, it is a local council road. So it, it's uh, as much as it is your main road, it doesn't classify as a main road. Uh, the other part of the question was about sewering. And again, sewerage uh, is something that is managed or has legislation or framework that councils must abide by. Councils provide and deliver sewerage. That actually changed momentarily uh, with the, uh, the take of the water and the sewerage. They are now coming back to council. Uh, in historic terms, up until very recently, I think it was about 2007, 8, the state government actually stopped funding or providing grants to council for infrastructure, for trunk uh, water infrastructure and for sewer infrastructure. And there were, depending on, on what stage of the program you were at, there was some funding. And I know that uh, Coochie Mudlow Island, I think we got 40% funding from the state government towards the uh, sewering of the island and the upgrade then to Victoria Point treatment plant. It's now coming back to council and how they manage that is entirely up to them. What you have in sewer and water is you have a business unit that can actually raise its own revenue and its own capital. So it can then roll out the infrastructure. The, the, the state government sets the framework by which the council must operate. But council is fundamentally a service delivery unit of the state government. And so therefore, therefore they are charged with that responsibility and it's up to them to deliver it how they manage their resources because their revenue base is through rates, through grants and through uh, fees and charges and that's how council was structured. About a, almost a third, a third, a third in as much as one third comes from grants, be it from state or federal government, one a third was from fees and charges which is just a straight line, we do something for you as a council, we then pay that back to council and that's the likes of you know, historically it's been water, it's been the garbage collection every day and all those kind of things. And then the other third was just your straight out rates revenue, which is what you and I pay in our rates notice.